So we've checked out Shinjuku. I'm coming over to see uh, JP's dance class right now, which is up here. <laughs> and we just finished uh, playing at the dance class that JP runs and we thought it'd be good for JP to share a bit about what he does so here he is Hi everyone Could you share a bit about how you first came to Japan? Yeah sure, I came to Japan in 2006 first time and uh, well I'm from Brazil originally and uh, I've been working in Japan for seven years I came first time in 2006 and when I came God confirmed the calling for Japan and I realized that God chose Japan for me and um, I was saved doing dance um, in Brazil I joined a dance class and uh, I got saved I was like um, very shy I didn't have friends and then I had like suicidal thoughts and and I couldn't connect with people but through dance I could connect with people and with church and with God so I decided to do the same uh, the same help I got and that's what I'm doing here in Japan and uh, we have uh, once a, a week, we have every Tuesday dance classes here in Shinjuku. You can see the guys here, we just came from a dance class and uh, that's what we do. After dance class we hang out and uh, it's the first you know, contact with people because we have the same interest. And then through the dance we share the gospel and it's a very natural way to make contact. You know, dance, music, art, connect with people, link with people, just pray for Japan. God is already working here and uh, we want you to come and visit like those guys we're so blessed by them that they came and blessed our pastor here in Japan and the church and uh, yeah this is home for you guys as well come and help us we need your help God bless you and uh, I hope to see you in Tokyo Finished our time at JP's dance class, pretty awesome. Tried out a few moves, didn't go so well. <laughs> then showed a great gospel message. It was. The oh, dance theme. I, sorry, I thought you were talking about your dancing. <laughs> no. Yeah, the gospel message Wait, was amazing. The gospel. Dancing. <laughs> so, no, no, no. <laughs> Today we're 
in Kamakura with uh, Andy and Andreas, and they're giving us a look around more of the traditional zone. Again, this is a big temple area. So. So today we're here with Andreas, who is a filmmaker, uh, currently in Zurich. You've been over to Japan, what, eight times? Yes. So I thought we'd do a little interview, find out more about what he does. Yeah. Um, could you share your story of how you got into doing creative stuff? Yeah, so um, I come from a creative family, so like my grandpa was an actor, my dad, probably any, every creative job there is at some point in his life, <laughs> so um, not to become someone like working in the creative field would have been probably the weirdest thing for my parents yeah. could have done. So I didn't want to disappoint them, so I became creative. Um, I studied acting, so I also like come from that world, like always been an action. Then um, straight out of acting school, switched behind the camera and started directing and <laughs> producing content, and yeah, um, cool. did that ever since um, for 14 years now and love it. Great. So how did you first? get half of Japan and come over here? Um, around 15 years ago when I started all of a sudden having like those dreams and visions about Japan and people were prophesying over that and um, I was literally like falling in love or something like that because like whenever I just heard Japan somewhere like on the telly or people talking about it or anything like that, instantly like, my heart leapt and I was drawn towards that mm. and it came completely out of the blue because like coming from rural Germany there was nothing like Japanese in my life so it was really completely random yeah. um, which is why I think that it's from God and like my wife felt that as well like yeah. so we thought about going there as missionaries then like prayed about it and um, looked into like missions organizations and everything but nothing seemed to like happen like doors weren't opening mm. and it just seemed not to be meant to be um, and then like life just got into the way like we started our careers work university like whatever and um, somehow lost the connection to that lost that and yeah. then in Sydney, Australia, um, when I was working for Hillsong Church there, they have a Japanese extension service in Sydney because there's a large Japanese minority in Sydney yeah. and got involved with that and like all those like dreams and desires came back. Then we decided like when we left Sydney to uh, relocate back to Europe yeah. that we spent some months in Japan and that just like invest there into ministries, people, um, teaching them like in filmmaking and directing and things like that. And um, it was amazing then like standing there and realizing wow that like prayer that we prayed so many years before for God like to send us to Japan and use us yeah. like he actually like he really did but he had a bigger plan not just sending like a bunch of like young people with a <laughs> great heart but l very little skill over yeah. there to do something you know, but Greek like equipping us joy, like building that career in me so like becoming a filmmaker and things and now like yeah, regularly yeah. coming to Maybe Japan and really having something to say having some tools to give yeah. people yeah. and inspiring like young people here to like make films to tell their story to create to not be afraid to put their stuff out there so yeah that's what i'm doing what i'm very passionate about doing more and more yeah. um, and why i'm here right now so what encouragement would you give to any maybe young filmmakers or creative people out there so the biggest encouragement i can give is to create lots of work because um that's actually that's not by me that's by an amazing guy called ira glass but um, there's this creative gap that we all know that um, exists between the art that we want to make and the art that we're currently making. And the only way to get through that is creating, creating, creating. And nowadays, like with, especially like as a filmmaker, but in everything, it's the same in music. The availability of actually gear where you can produce great results with has never been better. You can totally do that in your living room. You can totally do that with your dad's camera. You can totally do that with gear that's available, like within your church potentially. Yeah. And like just take that gear and like create something, go and create, create more, create more, learn from the stuff that you didn't like about your last project, make it better the next time, and then eventually like, you will evolve to become the kind of artist that you want to be. Yeah. All right, awesome. Thank you for sharing, Andreas. I hope that's encouraging to you guys. And pray for Japan. Like, yes. Japan is an amazing, beautiful nation um, with kind of like the lowest like, Christian population like um, in the world or something like that. So it's really big missions field, but there's lots happening here now. And generally, like, there's a lack. Um, of purpose like in the youth 
in general like that's really like one of the big struggles like it has the highest suicide rate in the world wow. which is crazy because it is one of the wealthiest countries in the world which really shows you that it's not about that not about like actually like you generally like having what you need to survive there's more that people really lag and people are hungry here for purpose for something that really shows them like what and why they're here for yeah so like really for us to come in and give them the answer and like point them towards Jesus there's amazing opportunity so um, pray yeah. get involved mm. and really think about Japan mm. awesome